Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. I love the phrase happy Thanksgiving because the truth is whenever we give thanks, we're actually happier. What a beautiful holiday in America today where every American stops to think about their gratitude and appreciation to God. Not only that, they actually verbally express it around the dinner table, telling everyone what they're grateful for. And not only that, they try to do an act of kindness and goodness to express thanks to God by showing kindness to others. But you know, when we receive blessings in life and we're thankful for them, we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing with the blessings that God gave us? How are we utilizing those blessings? Because as they say, your blessings are God's gift to you. What you do with them is your gift to God. Two weeks ago, we read about the story of Isaac telling Esau to go prepare a meal for him and he will then give him the blessings of his father Abraham. And the verse says that Isaac said, Sana chelecha telyecha v'kashtecha. Go take your equipment, your bow and your arrow, because Esau was a hunter, and go hunt me game and make me a dish the way I like and then I will give you the blessings. And the Chassam Sofer says that this verse is talking to every one of us. God says to every person, take your equipment, take your tools, take your skills, take your blessings, and go hunt me a game, go accomplish something great in this world, and make me a dish, God says, prepare me a meal, do something beautiful the way I like it, the way I desire in this world, and then you will receive the blessings of your forefathers of Abraham. And that's what Thanksgiving allows us to do, to be grateful, but also to challenge us and say, are we using our blessings fully? I want to ask you a question. Imagine a person in the next world who passed away maybe 10 years ago and God comes to that person and says, listen, I'm going to give you, I'm going to grant you one day to go back to this world and live one day of life now. What would you like to be? You could be anything you want, you could do anything you want, but you have one day. What would that person choose? Would they say they want to come back as Bill Gates with hundreds of billions of dollars? Would they say they want to come back as a rock star, as Elvis Presley, and perform a concert in front of 100,000 people? Would they come back to fulfill the ultimate desire, fantasy that they always dreamed of fulfilling in their life? No. What they would choose is to spend one day on earth with their loved ones, with their family, with their spouse, with their children, with their grandchildren, with their parents, with their siblings, with their friends. The greatest blessing in life, the true blessing in life, the blessings that are priceless, is the blessings that we cannot even qualify or quantify. It's the blessings of love and friendship and family. And therefore we should celebrate that every day and be grateful for it every day and thank God for it by utilizing it to the fullest. Sometimes I meet people and they say, thank God. But sometimes people say, thank goodness. And I wonder who is goodness? Let's be grateful to the source of all goodness in this world, Hashem, and utilize His blessings for making this world a world in which God can smile and be proud of. Have a wonderful day.